All right, gamers, it begins. It begins. This is it. This is the Bouchard strategy presentation summer. So the MC this time, of course, is Midas AG, as usual. And so this time, the strategy presentation is called 2023 Vang... It's like Vangaro I didn't read it. <laughs> I'm going off of memory. All right, next is Rebirth for you. We're going to see some live action wrestling. Oh, my God, he's dead. He's still dead. He's dead from last time. What recap from previous episode? He's been dead the whole time. It's like, oh no, the qualifiers for WGP are gonna start while the whole time that you're dead. The Rebirth Festival too. <laughs> oh, he's reviving. He's coming back. If you clap, everyone clap. Everyone clap. If you tweet, hashtag Vangaro, save Asano. Oh my god, you can save him by tweeting. Oh my god, he's reviving. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you have to tweet. You have to keep tweeting. Tweet harder. Tweet harder. This is how he revives. What? Yo. <laughs> what is this fucking pachinko? <laughs> this is pachinko. They're using Pachinko gimmicks to revive the producer. Oh my god. It's Vanguard time. Tell your mom, tell your kids, tell your dog. It's the Vanguard time. What? Haruna looks... Haruna looks kind of weird. Her eyes are too far away from her nose. <laughs> Haruna's eyes are too far away from her nose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this this studio did say that that like they they're not against AI AI use? Is this fucking AI knows? Oh, there's gonna be a uni app. All right. So you get the app asks if you want power. And if you say yes, you gain power. Raika and Danji on the good side. And you use in the middle. Which path will he choose? And the AI is behind him, but my camera is blocking it. Boom. So this starts, you know, in less than a month. Ooh, there's going to be a special airing. Whoa, Baron. So there's going to be a special TV show on several TV channels on the 1st of July at 8 a.m. Where the MC will be... Baron, with guests, which are Yu Yu Megumi's and Daiga's voice actors. So if you don't know who Baron is, you know when, when they do those, like, trailers? They do those trailers where it's like, 2022 And like, the dude that, like, announces in, like, a super hype voice, like, the releases for this month, that's Baron. That's Baron. <laughs> oh, they're gonna announce WGP Season 2? Here we go. Alright. So we have Tokyo in October, Osaka in in November, and Nagoya in November. Okay. And then the regional cups will be... Wait, Kyushu, Kagoshima, Fukuoka... There's a lot of places that haven't had any events in a while. It's gonna be Niigata. Okay, they're doing a lot of, a lot of locations that they haven't done in a while. Vanguard is growing! Again! Alright, and then the final... Two days! Whoa! The national finals this year, Vanguard Deluxe Finals, will be a two-day event on the November 25th and 26th. This is... First time ever, I think? Is this a first time ever for Vanguard? Please say they're spectating too. Let there be a spectating thing. Go for casting? Maybe I should, like, email them and be like, yo, you need an English caster? These are two days back in 2017. In English, yeah, I'm talking about Japan. I'm talking about Japan. Oh, two days is so good. Bushiroad. In English, too. For worlds. Two days of worlds. Stop fucking around. Make two-day worlds. Slams table. World Championship. Confirmed in Tokyo, February 3rd, baby! Why is it only one day? Why is it only one day? Why is it a one day? Come on! Deluxe World Championships, please include... Please don't be just JP Former. Please don't be just JP Former. Please don't be just JP Former. Please don't be just JP... 
Please don't be just JP format. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Please don't be just JP format. Please. I beg you. There's... Oh. Wait. He's saying dangerous things. He said maybe there will be an English broadcast at the same time, but he's like, oh wait, maybe I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> what? Wait, they're all talking about English. What the fuck? Push your own. <laughs> Come on. Give details or I explode. <laughs> balance, 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 balance. Here we go. Balance, 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 balance. 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 Abisu! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you. Okay, so the infinite loop for Gold Paladin, I forgot there was another one. They killed the Gold Paladin infinite loop and they put Fujin Raijin Grey 2 promo to 1. Kill Ebisu! Kill Ebisu! Kill Ebisu! That's not enough to kill Ebisu! What? Oh. Does nothing! That does nothing! Literally, worst ban list ever! Worst ban list ever! Alright, here's the set 12 news. We already know about the Orphist. Whoa! Amanagurujo! So this is Haruna's unit. Spooky Among Us bat. Spooky Among Us bat with wings. That, that's no car. <laughs> so Haruna will fight. <laughs> We're looking at your head looking dog. <laughs> By the way, this reminds me of that video. There's a weird ass looking dog. <laughs> oh no, it's a cat. <laughs> it's that fucking cat again. <laughs> Bibli accurate angel. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'm dying. Ah! It looks like grandma. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. What? They're doing more young animal collab. What? Why? Why the feet? Why the feet, bro? Why do we need feet? Let the feet go. Go with the Street Fighter. <laughs> Keep the freaking feet bros in Street Fighter, man. We don't need the feet bros here. Dude, the second girl has like a waist smaller than a fucking toothpick. Choose your fetish. But yeah, these are all, if you don't know, these collab arts are all drawn by famous manga artists. Whoa! Gotobun! <laughs> wow! Gotobun collab! Hi! I don't know anything about Gotobun, so... Okay, set 12. So, there will be a total of 32 different collab cards for Gotobun in set 12. And each nation will have several. Are they triggers? Like, like, Bang Dream? But that's, I really like the, like, the collab trigger stuff. I think it's really good. That means we could get Hollow Life again. Oh, Jesus, they just dropped their set 13. Damn. Set 13 is another UU themed set. The first one in a long time. Not really. Set 10 was, had UU on the cover too, but no, it didn't. It ended up not being UU and ended up being freaking, ended up being, it, it, being jeweled. Whoa! New Youth Bird? Revolt form? Full? Huh? Buru Burasto? Full blast! What? He took the helmet off! Leonorn Viviace. So Leonorn Viviace. Oh, black art. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. She has. Are those sword guns? What is she holding? Stora Verurina. I have to go back a little bit. I'm sorry. I have to read these. Stora Verurina. Straverina. 
and Youthburg Revolve form full blast. <laughs> Damn, Youthburg takes the helmet off. I wish he was more beat up though. I wish... I wish he was more beat up. Afternoon collab. We are collaborating with the PM denotation of time in set 13. Lyrical booster 4! Alright, so the name of the set is Itazara <laughs> Shouzo! Cringe, cringe, cringe. Halloween, wait, this is the freaking. Isn't there a Love Life girl with a paper bag thing? All right, October 13th, Lyrical Booster 4, after a year, over a year, over a year of no Lyrical Boosters, we're going to have a Lyrical set. We're going to have a few Lyrical Rod Lines. So we have Triple Trick, Fennel on the left, then we have Le Vrai Soeur, Shadowmoto, uh, and then we have finally Gorgon eyes Shiana. Gorgon? <gasps> She's a Medusa. That's why she has a she has to cover her eyes. Oh she has a snake around her. Wait, you can see the snake. You can see the snake here. Snake. Look at him. Look at him. Eurioli <laughs> real. Look at him. Look at look at a little dude. Look at a little dude. SP version without the bag. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a bunk snake, he's there. <laughs> These cards will also be printed. Whoa! Herminia! Yo, what is going on? Oh my god. Yo, dress up versions of Herminia and Fortia. These are both... The same as the current Lyrical Girls that just came out. They are dress up. So these will be released on October 13th. Herminia. One last announcement. A new stride deck set after Messiah. Night Rose, Night Rose. Lord Orendu! Oh, they're really going with it. Okay, okay. Uh oh, <laughs> Shiranui! Wait, that's Mukuro, right? Oboro? So they will both release on November 10th. Shihai? Dominate will be added. Oh my god, <laughs> it's Dominate and Luard. Holy shit, what about? So more details will be revealed later. What about Nairos, bro? And, and Gabriel? Oh my god. Damn, the, the Shirna and Luar look nice. They look things like the same word. So Tolkien Rama comes out this month. The new trial decks come out next month. August we have set 12. September we... So basically two months gap between set 12 and 13. And then... So they're gonna do an actual proper judge training program in Japan next year. JP doesn't have a judge program? No, it doesn't. It does not. <laughs> All judges are volunteers. Uh, not all. Some of them are bushy staff. Some of them are bushy staff. Damn. Dominate is coming to standard. Hiranui and Lord Stride deck sets confirmed for November. November is still so far away. I'm surprised. Because we still have another announcement stream in September, so I'm surprised that the announcements went that far. Don't know how you feel about the new Grade 3 Luard art? I think it looks cool. I feel like this time Luard is gonna be bad. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna make Luard bad. I feel like Luard's gonna be mid this time. I feel like they're scared. I feel like they're scared of making Luard good. I feel like they're scared of making Luard good, like good, like good now. They've... <laughs> Oh, but thing is, it's the original Luard, right? So it's like the the original Luard is what? On Stride CB1, Pop 1, Call 2, right? And Bot Deck 3 or 2 for free Stride cost. What was it again? I guess they'll just print a... Like, thing is, they can just print these Stride deck sets because they're going to make like two or three a year, I guess. Seems to be the pace. They'll make two or three a year. And then just like, once they run out of things to make stride deck sets out of, they just 
don't make them anymore. <laughs> like, once they've made all of the main characters and all the main units from the different nations, they just stop. Make Luard good riot, make Luard bad riot. It won't be bad, but I doubt it's going to be busted. Because, like, part of what made Luard so good is, like, how diverse the G-Zone was. Like, how many amazing tools Shadows had in the G-Zone. And if the deck only has two strides, it's like... But one will be resources, the other one will be like kill potential, and that's it. Was Messiah this year? Yeah, Messiah just came out in English, and it came out three months ago in Japan. Damn, Leonor on that crazy hot streak, though. She's had three forms already. Dindrain and Luarn? Yeah, you can play Dindrain and Luarn. People just getting PTSD from V-Luard? Yeah, like, G-Luard was not busted. G-Luard is like Youthberg, it was always good. G-Luard was just always good. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, Soul Chad guy, thank you for the 25 months here for Luard. Give it up for Luard! Damn. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm excited. Ah, yes. I love Twitter. Time for another reboot! Shut up. All right, here comes Kidani for the final segment. Starting from September, you can buy... You can buy... Two protein bars, and they come with a promo card for only 700 yen. That's a that's a steal. That's cheap for two protein bars. Yeah, he's like, dear card game players, please collect these. Please eat these protein bars. Bushard Card Game Festival Daibangasai has been announced. It will be held in May 3rd and 4th. A tiny bit later than, last, than this year. So, <clears throat> it will be the same venue as this year's day two. So day two this year was bigger than day one. So it will be, both days will be using both of those venues. All right, so the next Bushroad strategy presentation will be in September. They said they will say what the venue and the date is a bit later. So he wants, his target basically is to grow Bushroad card games more worldwide. Because while the Japanese card game market is growing, it's also been growing a lot more outside of Japan too. With things like, you know, he does not mention specifically, but you can tell like Larkana, Flesh and Blood, like those are not Japanese titles. So basically putting in a lot of effort to keep growing, um, you know, Bushard card games worldwide. And then the segment where I was quiet, he was basically talking about how he was thinking with the other Bushiroad, um staff about how to further grow Vanguard. Um, even more than, than it is now growing. And one of the things he's, he realizes that as he was going around card shops all over Japan, he said his daily rhythm for a whole week was visit card shops in the morning, watch wrestling in the afternoon, and then go drinking at night for every single day. And he said that while he was visiting um, card shops, he realized that the dual space, the, the card game play space, in Japanese card shops has increased by about three times over the last 10 years. And so in order to respond to the, you know, this new space, he wants to basically have a proper judge system to make it so that it's easier for people to play tournaments for Vanguard and for people to be able to, you know, attend tournaments and locals for Vanguard without having to worry about, like, you know, any kind of issues and there being, like, actual supporting staff in these uh, stores as well. So I think that's that's pretty smart. So, yeah, that is it. That is the Bushard Strategy Presentation 2023 Vanguard, the summer one.